let's continue talking about people that are having back pain that travels down one of their legs. So a lot of people find relief when they do this extension position. What I mean by extension is they put those hands on the back of their hips and they bend backwards. And that gives them less pain traveling down the leg. We call that an improvement symptom. Uh, most people respond to that. It's a very common symptom presentation that we see. Some people though have actually irritation when they go into that back extension. And not always necessarily irritation of pain down the leg, but irritation locally at the back, that their back actually feels stuck or it's more uncomfortable right there. So when we look at that, a lot of times those people have a lateral shift problem. What I mean by that is if we look at your rib cage, we look at your pelvis, right? Those are blocks that should be stacked vertically over one another. But sometimes people can be shifted to one side or the other, right? These are people you probably have noticed and you've seen other people before that kind of look like this, right? Now, if you're having that back pain yourself, you might actually be in this position and not feel that. You might think that you feel vertically lined up, right? When you see people that have this big lateral shift, they don't realize that they're later laterally shifted like that. They feel comfortable like that, even though we know that that's kind of a problematic position. So the way we want to look at that, because we have to correct that first before we can get into a good extension position, is we're just going to grab our elbows, hold them out in front of us, and then we're going to try to shift our hips to one side and then shift them to the other side. Now notice my arms, my chest, my shoulders aren't really moving, right? So it's not a lean or anything like that. It's just a lateral shift of my hips one side or the other. Now, if I find that one side is kind of a difficult position for me to move, and we'll say it's my left side, if I go to my left and that's painful and it's giving me uh, pain symptoms into either one of my legs, but I go to my right side and that moves nice and freely, right? Obviously I have a dysfunction on that left side. I need to improve that mobility. So a good exercise that we'd like to do for that is we're going to take the side that we have trouble going to, so my left side, and I'm going to put my left shoulder right up against the wall, and I'm just going to bend my elbow so my hand is out of the way, and I'm going to work on bringing this left hip towards the wall. Right? So I'm using the wall as a vertical marker of my shoulder position and my hip position. As I get better at this, I can possibly move a little bit further away from the wall with my feet and go a little bit further, but eventually I'm going to get to my limit where I can't go anymore. Right? So. After we do that, that will sometimes give people pain relief from their leg symptoms. And when we're done with that, then we bring them back into that extension position again. And a lot of times they say, you know what, I can move further than I did before and I feel more comfortable. And so now we're restoring that motion. The reason why we couldn't get the relief with the extension was because they were so laterally shifted that the extension motion was just kind of jammed up and making more pain. So if you're having trouble with that extension and that's not giving you relief of those symptoms that are going down the back of the leg, take a look at yourself in a mirror or get somebody else to observe you. Grab those elbows and shift your hips side to side. You should see that one side is efficient and one side is probably tight, stiff, uncomfortable. Um, that's the side you work to. You're going to lean on the wall, same side. Shift those hips to that side. Come back to your extension exercises. That should get some of those leg symptoms feeling better and your back moving better.